Hi to all. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about uh, three point starter and four point starter. Uh, before going to uh, three point starter, four point starter, what is starter? Okay, in your DC machines, uh, um, the initial current of the uh, machine will be very high because of absence of uh, um, back EMF. To overcome that, we are going to, we are going to use the uh, starters. Okay, the device which is used to control the initial current is called starters. Okay, it can be classified into two point starter, three point starter and four point starter. Uh, two point starter uh, are used for uh, series motors and three point starter and four point starters are used for um, shunt motors. Why? Because LFA uh, line field armature, there are three points will be present in three point starter and L and armature only two points are present in Two, uh, two point starter that is for series motor because in series motor um, armature and field are in series so we have only two terminal now we see for we go for a uh, three point starter yeah three point starter is extensively used for start a dc shunt motor it's not only overcome the difficulties of a plain resistance starter but also provides additional protective features such as OLP overload protection and no volt protection. The diagram of three point starter connected to a shunt motor is shown in the figure. Okay, this is a three point starter. This is a three point starter and uh, this is a motor uh, connected. Okay, the diagram. Uh, the diagram. Uh, the diagram of three point starter connected to shunt motor is shown in the figure. Although the circuit looks a bit clumsy. At first glance, the basic working principle is same as the plain resistance starter. The starter is shown enclosed with the dotted rectangular box. This is the starter, okay, dotted rectangular box having three terminals marked as marked as L, F, and A. L, F, A. L is nine number, okay. Um, LFA. Okay. Terminal A is connected to the one armature terminal A1 of the motor. Terminal A connected to the armature terminal A1 of the motor. Uh, and L is connected to the supply. Okay. L is connected to the supply side. And okay. L is connected to the sub. Uh, the figure. F2. Terminal of field coil is connected to A2, F2 terminal coil connected to A2. Okay. Through an external variable field resistance and the common point connected to negative. The external armature resistance consists of several resistance connected in series are shown in the form of an arc. Okay. The junctions of the resistance are brought out as terminals as marked just beneath uh, the resistance as a continuous copper strip also in the form of the arc is present there is a handle this is a handle okay which can which can be moved in the clockwise direction against the spring tension okay here spring will be the and it will be moved clockwise direction uh, against the spring tension the spring tension keeps the handle in the off position when no one attempts to move it. Now let us trace the circuit from terminal L supply positive. The wire from L passes through a small electromagnet called overload uh, RC coil. The function of which call discussed in letter. Okay, the enter through the handle shown by dashed lines handled by the dashed lines near the end of the handle two copper strips near the end of the handle two copper strips um, are firmly connected with the wire okay the furthest step strip is shown circular shaped and the other strip is shown the rectangular when the handle is moved to the right the circular strip of the handle will make contacts with resistant terminal 1 comma 2 etc progressively on the other hand the rectangular strip 
will make contact with the continuous or copper strip. The other end of this strip is brought as terminal F after going through an electromagnetic coil called NME or C non-return coil. Okay, terminal spine C motor terminal F1. Working principle. In the operation of the starter, initially the handle is in off position. Neither armature nor the field of the motor gets supply. Now the handle is moved to stud one number one. Now the handle is moved to stud one from this point to this one. Okay. In this uh, position, armature and all the resistance in series gets connected to the supply. Field coil gets full supply as the rectangular strip makes contact with arc copper strips. As the machine picks up speed handle is moved further to start step 2, the, in this position, the external resistance in the armature circuit is less as first resistance is left out. Feel, however, the continuous to get full voltage by virtue of the continuous arc step. Continuing in this way, all resistance will be left out with stud number 12. Here, from here, the resistance will be present, full resistance will be present for the armature. Once it comes here, this part of the resistance will be removed. Once it comes here, this much part of the resistance will be removed. Once it reaches 12, the total resistance will be eliminated from the circuit. Okay, the starter is also provides overload protection mm -hmm. for the motor. The other electromagnetic OLCR overload release coil along with the soft iron piece kept under it. It is used to achieve this. The current flowing through OLCR overload release coil is a line current IL drawn by the motor. As the motor is loaded, IA hence IL increases. Therefore, IL is a measure of loading of the motor. Suppose if you want to, uh, you want that the motor should not be overloaded beyond rated current. Now, gap between the electromagnet and the soft iron piece is so adjusted that IL is greater than I rated. The iron piece will not be pulled out. However, if IL is greater than I rated, force of the attraction will be sufficient to pull the iron piece. This upward um, movement of the iron piece of oils here utilized to de-energize de the NV or C to the iron is copper strip. During the overload product conditions, this copper strip will also move up and put a short circuit between two terminals B and C. Carefully note that B and C are nothing but two ends of the NV or C. In other words, when the overload occurs, when the overload occurs, a short circuit path is created across the NV or C. Ends NV or C will not carry any current now gets de-energized. The moment it gets de-energized, spring action will bring handle to its uh, rest position. Okay, from that area. Okay. Uh, three point shutter is also one disadvantage. If we want to run the machine at higher speed by field weakening, the strength of the NV or C magnet may become so weak that it will fail to hold the handle on the uh, position and spring action will bring it back on the off position. Thus, we find that a false disconnection motor takes place even when there is neither overload nor any sudden disruptions of supply. So, to overcome that, we are going for 4 point starter. In the 4 point starter, we are giving no volt coil, NVC coil, are connected separately with one more point L, F, A plus N. The, no, the coil will be connected, NVC coil separately connected. So, the magnetizing of the this coil is separated. So, when we go for overloader, also uh, system that is uh, machine will work. The possibility of actually opening the field current remote. The four point starter provides no voltage protection to the motor. If the port, power failures, the motor is disconnected from the line. Thank you.